to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Welcome everyone to the video. We're back at Goodwill. Um, looking to buy low, sell high. It's the name of the game. There's a bike, a motorcycle park where this person wants to park. Um, so, we're looking to buy items for eBay. That's what we primarily do. We sell other places too, but eBay is the big dog. That's where we make the most. Um, here the bulk of our items get listed. So, uh, trying to find some cool items here. Let's, uh, we're getting closer to the holidays. Halloween is around the corner. Hopefully they have their Halloween decor aisle out. So we can definitely take a look at it. Halloween decor, holiday decor does incredibly well. Look out for it. Uh, hit the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Let's get in there and find items. Okay, so. Things got a little crazy right at the front. <laughs> they had a bunch of toys. Bunch of, bunch of, uh, come this way. Bunch of action figures up there, so I kind of grabbed the ones that I think are going to be worth it. They're priced around four dollars, five dollars, um, we'll round up a piece. So we'll have to definitely, ooh, ooh, ooh no, pieces everywhere. I don't want to move that because that's going to generate a lot more pieces to fall out, but um. I'll kind of give you guys a brief look at what's there, and I'll kind of just give a general overall price of what I think everything will sell for together, so. Uh, I forget the name of this dinosaur. Okay, let's go this way. Let's check out the electronics. I mean, we've got a good stack of, of toys already, mostly Star Wars, so. But let me, let me just do a closer look right now since you, know, you can see a couple of Transformer things, but I'll give it just a general what everything's going to cost or what everything's going to turn out to be combined. <laughs> I was just grabbing all kinds of stuff, throwing it in there, picking it up, throwing it in there. You know, so I can't really um, happen so fast. Everything was right in the front right when I walked in, so. I'm pretty sure I grabbed what is going to be worth it. I think, I think. This is a, um, oh, DVD. Okay, I thought it might've been a hard drive, but it's actually a um, portable DVD burner. DVD CD burner, you know, for a computer. USB has none of the cords with it. Okay, I wanna go check out this other aisle really quick. Um, what toys they have. It's not really a good one. It appears that all these toys were repriced because they were all at 11, they all have an 11 something dollar tag on it and now they have a four dollar and something tag on it. So this is all stuff from Target and Universal Isle. I have no idea. I really don't go. <laughs> you know, when I go to Target, I just go straight to the to the um, Lego section, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this looks kind of cool. It's dinosaurs. Let's take a look. I mean, the theme of the day might be toys. It's, you know, we take what Goodwill or Flea Market or whatever will give us, and we roll with it. A bunch of Super Mario. This is definitely Princess Peach, obviously. Nobody wanted this in stores. Why would somebody go online to look for it, you know? So we're not really going to pick that up. Bakuguns. Bakuguns. Can be good, but... With my experience, they set for too, too long, in my opinion. And more, there's more Bakuguns? Yeah, more Bakuguns. There's certain ones that can do really well. But I have a good amount of toys at the moment. Floating kitten. Look at all these tech decks down here. Tech decks, tech decks. Oh man, again, this is stuff that did not move in store, you know, in a retail setting. So, to get kicked out out here. So, you gotta be cautious of what you're gonna put online. 
because, like I said, if they don't, if it wouldn't didn't sell in retail, why is someone going to go online and look for it? Okay, I'm going to keep moving through here. Okay, we're in the wood and the frames. Make sure my camera is set properly. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm a little bit still <laughs> thrown off by the... As soon as I walked in, all these action figures are priced there, but... Um, uh, we're getting getting into a groove here. We got a football frame. This is Bombay. It's three eighty nine. Bombay is a decent brand, and football season is here. Just checking it out. Three eighty nine isn't bad. We'll put it in the cart. I'm guessing somewhere around twenty ish dollars is what I'm gonna hope for. Inside that, any um, Martha Stewart? Yeah, nope. We're not picking that up. Looking for Cutco knife blocks. I sold all my Cutco knife blocks, so kind of strange. They all kind of went, you know, in a um, all kind of went almost at once or in a rather quick succession. This is a humidor. Um, oops, where my guy even showing it on the camera? Humidor. It's a cigar box. Not really. No. It doesn't really go for too much and it's just too heavy and shipping wise. I don't like it from a shipping wise perspective. A little carnival glass. Mm. Yeah, look at the frames. I think I glance at the frames. Er, not really filling the frames, but not really feeling the frames today because I got so much stuff in the cart already. So, oh man, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Too much. Lots and lots of stuff over there. Let's go this way. Okay, let me change the mic really quick because we're going into the high music section. And I was already dealing with copyright on my latest video, which is annoying. I had to go back and re-edit the video, upload it later. Uh, than I like to, so it's kind of a cool mug, but I don't think it's really anything by Lin Lee Matra Way. Pretty cool sea turtles. Hmm. I got a few mugs right now. I, I'm good. I don't think I need. Oh, look, they move. Okay, yes. So it looks like the holiday aisle is on the other side of us, behind us because this is the miscellaneous glass and pottery, which isn't typically here. This is kind of cool. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to keep talking here because it is really loud, and I'm not 100% sure if the mic will, you know, filter everything out as far as the music. You might hear it, but hopefully it doesn't get caught by YouTube. That's the goal. That's the trick here. Not really seeing anything here. It's like a Make-A-Wish thing. What is this? Uh, 2002, probably a homemade piece. Ooh, a cool little pumpkin, but not that cool. Cool, but not that cool. Okay. Um, okay, there's some bins over here. Let's go look at these bins really quick. Kind of glancing here before we go look at the... Um, maybe it's just a toy day. We'll see. What's this? Eddie Bawa. So now, now, some Guitar Hero thing over here. What is this? Guitar Hero portable game. They want eleven dollars. It's not going to be worth it. Do I do need some screen protectors for my um, oh, my kids' phones? They keep breaking. The, they keep dropping them. I don't know. You know, I'm guilty of dropping things too. Dropping my phone, but I don't drop it at the rate that killed my kids do. Royal. Royal. Got a unique uh, opening here, but I don't think it's really worth it. Yeah, that looks, that's really cheap. Travel, Royal, U.S. Mm. The quality just isn't there. What's in this? Basket Stanford. What's this speaker thing here? Got like a 
Look at a smart speaker, but it doesn't feel like a good one. You can kind of tell by the screen. Probably just an Amazon thing. I see dogs. I see some wallets down here. What do we got? American Leather Co. Actually kind of old. Kind of nice. Um, we'll see about that. I'll put it in the cart. The sack. It's missing its strap here. Otherwise, I might have picked this up for $3. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but missing the um, crossbody. That's not good. What is this here? Something in there. Let's take a look. I'll look this up. Oh, no. There's not anything. Oh, wait. There's a camera in here. It doesn't look like a good one. What tips me off is, is that little LED thing right there? That's <laughs> tips me off is it's not a good brand, so. Okay, let's move. All right, I quickly mowed through the clear glass off camera. And I really didn't see anything, but I wanted to get over here to this side. Um, to check out what they have as far as Halloween, Halloween decor goes. Um, maybe some vintage stuff, maybe some Remax stuff. Maybe some blow molds. Uh, I think it's still, I think the, the Christmas or the Halloween is still... It's still developing here. Mm. It might only be Halloween in color. Something here. We're laughing. Oof. There's some corrosion in there. And I've had some bad luck as far as Corrosion. Oh, it's well, pardon me. Cart's rolling away. Excuse me. Okay. This cart. This cart. I don't want to. Which they want for this guy? Five fifty nine. Get moves. Kind of look at the tag here and see if it has anything identifiable. No, nothing really. Oh, battery off. That's for the battery. How's that? Hmm. That's probably just for the pumpkin. Hmm. I don't know. I might take a, I might put it in the cart, take a picture of it later, see if I can see anything good on it. Don't know. I might do that right now. Now the art a lot of NPCs in this aisle. All of a sudden. Halloween stuff. Don't sleep on like Target Halloween items from yesteryear because. Can do pretty good. Anything retired, you know, stuff they don't have in store right now. All right, I'm gonna quickly scan this little bear and just see if it's worth it. Okay, the bear is not gonna be worth it. I didn't think it was, but I was looking for the keyword Jimmy. J E M M Y. Let's see what else they have here. They seem to have an influx of products from. Target. Also, looks like Target stuff. Just all kinds of Target items there. Hey, that's kind of cool. We have a whole bunch. <sighs> My wife would love this thing. Oh man, the bat. Oh, it's metal. It can be bent back into shape. Uh, eleven dollars. Do I feel like carrying it out for eleven dollars? We have a ton of those. <laughs> we have a whole stack full of them for every season. 
bunch of wax mounts. These are all, yeah, from Target. 99 cents on all those. You could probably do pretty well selling these. They're all spring and summer scents. 99 cents, you could probably unload them for about three bucks, four bucks. They're not, you know, piece of cake to ship. Don't really feel like dealing with them though. All right, let's keep moving here. <laughs> Big deals. Excuse me. Okay. Some big deals going down here. Apps. Going down here at Goodwill. Some M N M N A. <laughs> or mergers and acquisitions, I should say. <laughs> All right. I gotta find a little quiet. Quick little quiet spot to uh, just kind of you know sort my cart here and see what we're taking and what we're not taking. I'm gonna try to do that right now. Let me tell you the N NPCs are hot on my tail right now. <laughs> you can't really find there's really no sanctuary. Did I turn this thing off? Yeah, there's really no sanctuary from NC NPCs. Non-active play. Non no. Non-active play. And that's my that's my kids call non-active players. <laughs> there's no there's no uh, safe spot. They'll find you and they'll start buzzing you. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking here. Mm -hmm. my cue to exit here it's getting getting crazy okay the amount of npcs suddenly appearing out of nowhere is getting out of hands oh i need to move on i'm gonna take myself out of the situation even though i'd like to be um i'd probably you know spend at least another hour here looking for items there's a lot of stuff here but um just becoming too too much so let's go this way and um, I gotta do a thumbnail though. So what am I gonna put on a thumbnail? That's the question. Uh, probably this hat I'm just found right now. Let's see. Let's get over here really quick to a little uh, with a seclusion, so I don't look weird. Just you know. But then again, who cares, really, right? LA Dodgers hat. LA. <laughs> Pretty cool because of the patch. Because of that, it's actually not even a patch. It's sewn in. So that's what's going to make it worth about $40 to $50. Um, otherwise, got some great items in the video, and I will pop it up in the video. I think there's a little, there's some theft occurring. You kind of get to know what's going on when, uh, when you are um, coming so often. So someone is um, like filling up carts and leaving them in different places, so a little suspicious and usually that means they're gonna walk out with something okay either way uh, let's move on down the road